Hi everyone, welcome to our bonus cabin tour video of cabin 4463. It is an ocean view cabin on the starboard side, midship roughly. Um, we've only had this room for about four or five hours because we're using it as a day room. It's something that happens when you go to the Caribbean. <laughs> Anyway, this is our room, as you can see. Um, they've set up the bed on this occasion as a twin. Um, we obviously didn't pick this, it's just been allocated to us, which we're grateful for. Um, we've got the, the same as our room, the inside, you have your bedside lamps with your reading lights, with your USBs underneath them, which is really, really handy. In that corner over there, you have light switches and you have a three pin UK power socket. This side, you have some light switches for the room. Okay, so now we're gonna check out the storage. Um, see how much wardrobe room we have. So just by magic, I'm gonna go like this and they're all gonna fly open and we'll all have a look inside, shall we? Ready, one, two, three, ta-da! So you can see our wardrobes, so you have plenty of hanging space there. Life jackets have been stowed away at the top. This one here in the middle, you have loads of little cubbies with a hair dryer in there. And you also have your laundry services bags there and they're ready to go. In this last one here, you have the safe, more hanging space. Perfect, I mean, I think this would be sufficient for a week. 442, I think you might struggle might if you had bit, had the children. I don't know if I did mention, you've also got your bed side cubbies there as well. There, no no cupboards, no drawers in them, you just shove your stuff in them basically. A little bit unuseful, but you can just put bits and bobs in. I usually keep my pants and socks in like a, like a laundry bag thing and just shove them in and just use them as I choose. So yeah, as I mentioned, you do have your switch over there beside the bed, which uh, controls this little night light down here as i said very very handy stops you tripping over the step and it's just, just ideal before we go into the shower room you've also got nice hooks there and room temperature control but let's have a look at the shower room so in here we have we have more storage and uh, they do have little things on the end stopping falling off but I, I know bigger bottles and all will fall over so be mindful of that especially if there's a bit of a motion of the ocean you have I don't know why they've put them there if they weren't going to put cups in. I'm a bit confused. We've actually gone to the buffet and we've actually come back with a plastic pool like beaker and we've actually plopped them in. If you, you know, and part of brushes in, that's what we did in our room. So we have a sink, you have um, some hand wash here. They have provided us on this occasion with some like beach towels, a little bin, our ordinary towels. There's no electric shaver socket in here. So you will have to bring an adapter with you and you will have to plug it into one of the three pin ones in the main room. And then this, everybody, is the shower. Plastic door, no clean curtains, and we also have a nifty retractable washing line. Um, they have also provided us with some shampoo and some shower gel as well. Um, whoops. Yes, it's a really, it's quite a roomy shower, isn't it? It's quite nice. It's nice. In it's fact, nice. This is, this is a better um, shower room than what we've had in our inside. That was, I, it was okay, we managed with it, but it was a little bit tight, I'd say. But this is perfect, honestly, it's so nice. Absolutely lovely. So this, everybody, this is the living area. What, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's, really, it's quite great. I mean, there's four people in here, there's plenty of room just on that couch alone, let alone that one over there, but we'll get to that shortly. So yeah, we have a lovely couch, which actually converts into, on this occasion, a bed. And we also have this one up here too, as if you can see. So that will all come down, fold out, so basically like bunk beds. It's perfect for families. And then over here, we have our nice flat screen TV, there's telephone, tea and coffee making facilities, some cupboards. There is a fridge in here. See? More cubbies in there. They've actually got a nice bucket in that one as well, ready to go. So you have tea and coffee making facilities. Perfect. And then you've got uh, two UK power sockets there and a European one as well. So that's handy. Got a nice little chair here again for if you wanted to write stuff, if you wanted to use your laptop, if you wanted to do your makeup. And it's got a nice mirror there as well, isn't it? It's cool. And now this, people, is the best part of the whole room. This is the window. Ta -da! With a lovely, lovely, like, sofa here. Like a, just like a window seat, isn't mm. it? It's lovely. It does have a rolling down, like a, a blind. So you can make it pretty much black out, can't you? Got curtains here too. This is a nice space. You know, I've sat here in the time we've been in this room and been looking at the ships from outside. We're currently in Barbados, by the way. But yeah, this is lovely. Do you like it? I love it. I, Very in nice. Fact, I would definitely book one of these. I'd probably be drawn to booking it over a balcony if it meant I could cruise more often. Yeah. More economical. Nice. But it's a lovely room. 
Uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please, please, please give it a little thumbs up. That would be awesome. And we'd really appreciate it if you kindly consider subscribing to our channel because that would help us out loads and that would be absolutely awesome and we will love you. So thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.